We're here in Aix-en-Provence with the great and the good of France's business establishment to talk about the country's inflexible labour market, seen as one of the key roadblocks to unlocking France's moribund economy. The view of the corporate elite is clear. They want to be able to hire and fire people far more easily, with executives such as Clara Gamer, the head of General Electric in France, saying this would be good for the economy, but also for society at large. It's really unfair. We are in a country where we believe we give equality to everyone, but the reality is that it is really unfair. We don't give access to the one who don't have access to the job. Okay, maybe we try to protect longer, better the one who are working, but if we looked at it and, uh, and say that the cake can be bigger, uh, we can create more jobs by uh, fluidity, flexibility, I think uh, that would really dramatically change the game. The critics say that France's employee-friendly long-term contract is far too restrictive, creating a dual-class system between the difficult to fire haves and the difficult to hire have not. I think the obsession in France uh, around a fixed uh, contract is very old-fashioned. Uh, and that's not the demand today from uh, young people. It's seen as security, uh, but it should be uh, opportunity. And uh, CDD is uh, a way to protect people, but you exclude a lot of people also. Uh, so um, with time, this will change. Uh, unions will see uh, also, uh, uh, will have to adapt to this new uh, organization. And today, as negotiations are done between uh, employer and uh, labor unions, uh, this, this doesn't take into account the reality uh, of what people want. The solutions are not clear, however. Some argue that the government needs to alter the legislation, while others, such as Pascal Lamy, the former director of the World Trade Organization, argues it's the unions that need to be stronger and more accepting of change. I think that's, that's below the street lamp. Most of what could happen will happen outside this below the street lamp zone. I think trade unions have to become bigger so that they are more responsible. And I think a lot of people in industry have to accept that in the European system, uh, it's a bit more like Sweden or Germany than it is like France or Italy. For the French government, they agree that something needs to be done. But Emmanuel Macron, the French economy minister, says the answer will be gradual adjustments rather than radical change. Mais la question c'est comment on a plus de fluidité dans la formation des salaires, dans la formation des accords d'entreprise et en effet pour adapter les contrats tout au long de la carrière. Donc, il n'y a pas de solution miracle, il y a une modernisation de notre droit du travail qui est en cours qui ne, just, qui ne justifie en aucun cas d'éroder les droits des salariés, mais qui justifie de réadapter les structures qui sont aujourd'hui en place ou les régulations qui sont aujourd'hui en place. The voice of the business community is clear. But as the government has acknowledged, there are still a great many in France who believe that unemployment is a price worth paying for higher wages and greater job security. This is Michael Stothard for the Financial Times in Aix-en-Provence.